Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I just spent 20 minutes putting these pearls in my hair to try and give cute beachy vibes and now I feel like they look not good or it's really distracting so I'm now gonna take probably 40 minutes to take each one out and I'm worried it's gonna, oh it's not that bad. Okay, <laughs> that's better, right? Dang it, I was really excited about those little pearls. I just bought this pack of pearls. Because this is the ColourPop Opal of My Eye collection that we're gonna be live swatching today, it's pretty cute. I, first of all, <laughs> I really love this compact. It's just a compact. You don't need it. It won't change your life. Nothing like that. But I think it's really cute. I'm kind of like on this huge shell kick. And I have to tell you who inspired this shell kick. Chloe Morello. She has such beachy, hot shell vibes. And I know a lot of it is her new brand's aesthetic. But it also is just kind of Chloe's vibe in general. And I don't want to steal it from her. So I'm just like publicly announcing that she has put me on such a shell kick. I just bought these vintage, beautiful shell bookends. They're brass. They're gorgeous. And I'm crazy about them. But Chloe was definitely the inspiration for that purchase because I just can't get over like shell things right now. I'm obsessed. And I was never a shell person. And I'm such a shell person right now. Um, so anyway, yeah, this is beautiful. We're going to swatch that. We have some face palettes. We have some eye palettes, a lot of good stuff. As you guys are watching this, I've been doing more on TikTok and on Instagram Reels. Um, so if you are perusing the collection and you want a refresher on a product, but you don't feel like watching my whole video, either by now or tomorrow morning, I will have live swatches up on both my TikTok and my Instagram Reels. So head there. My Instagram is thatgirlshayxo, and my TikTok is shayshukla. I know. Two different names, but it's because I'm kind of trying to get away from that girl Shay XO, trying to go towards Shay Shukla vibes. I just think my name is so cool to not use it, right? Shay Shukla. <laughs> anyway, okay, let's get started. I first want to start with, uh, let's just do this big, beautiful shell thing. So this is by Soul Body, ColourPop's sister brand. It is called Skinny Dippin'. And this is basically an all over thing. You can use it on the cheeks. You can use it on the body. You know, wherever the wind blows you, you can use it there. Here she is up close and personal. She is beautiful. I'd probably have to use this as a blush myself. So just with my finger, I'm going to take a little bit here. Pop it on the cheek. Oh, it actually, you know, I know it looks so corally and orangey, but it's not too overwhelming on the face whatsoever. I actually think you probably could use this all over the body. They recommend just using a damp sponge. If you want to place it everywhere or a big damp body brush, something like this also would be perfect. The Sigma Ultimate Bronze F78 brush. This thing is so good for body stuff. Um, but Soul Beauty, I believe, sells body brushes as well, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, on the cheek, it just gives a really nice kind of corally glow. So that is Skinny Dippin'. Can I tell you guys why I'm so pissed? Listen, I know that I'm late on this book. I know it's been on everyone's must-read list for a minute now. But I finally started reading Where the Crawdads Sing um, uh, probably about a week and a half ago, right? I know I am late. I had no idea they were making it a freaking movie. I'm like halfway through the book and last night I'm watching TV and the commercial for the movie comes on and I was like, holy shit, A, I didn't know it was being made into a movie and B, I feel like I know everything from the freaking preview. You're probably going to tell me I'm wrong. No spoilers, please. Um, but that's what I'm mad about today, amongst, amongst many other things, but that's like my petty, my petty angry today. But it's my own fault. I took too long to read the damn book, and this is what happens. This is what happens. Anyway, <laughs> that is skinny dipping. Let's move on to the lip glosses really quick. These are boring to me. They are beautiful in the sun or in a lot of light. You get one has kind of a golden shimmer, one has kind of a red shimmer, the other one I think was kind of peachy. They don't do much in my opinion, so don't feel like you need these at all. You don't need anything here. What you need is your rights, but we'll save that for another day. The first one here is Sunshine Required. The packaging is cute, it has a nice little shell on it. If you, I don't know if you'll be able to see it on this camera, but it gives a golden shine. It's pretty, it's really pretty in the real light too. Like outside, I'm telling you, go to my Instagram or go to my TikTok and look at the swatches because in the light, they're beautiful. In indoors, it kind of just looks like gloss, right? <laughs> so that is Sunshine Required. Next, we have Beach Please. This one has more of the blue tone. Mmm. This one you can see pretty well. Okay, this one I really like. I actually think this one is special. I like this one. Has a nice amount of purple, blue tone. Very pretty. Yeah, I love that. That is Beach Please. And the last one is My Goodies. 
Oh, cute. And this one has more of a pinky, reddy hue to it. So you know what? These are cute. Again, I don't think they're necessary. If you're a big gloss person, maybe you'll like them. That is my goodies. Hi, friends. Um, real quick, I am currently editing this video. Um, I just woke up, as you can tell. Anyway, the audio is a little funky for this face palette. It gets better in a few mins, but just wanted to let you know the audio is a little funky here. So sorry about that. I don't know what the heck happened, but it does readjust and it goes back to normal. Uh, anyway, love you. Next, we're getting into the face palettes. So we have two. We have one that's a little more, I don't want to say wearable, depends on who you are, but probably something I'm a little more comfortable with. And then we have one with lots and lots of color. We're going to start off with the lighter one because I don't know if these stain or anything like that. This is Mike. Might as shell. Oh, that's funny. Might as shell. Come on, come on, come out. There we go. <laughs> there you can see the color a little better. First, starting with the shade Sunlit. Oh gosh, sorry. I have to try to stop reflecting that. This is very pearly. Look at that. I mean, we know ColourPop has amazing super shock cheeks, amazing highlighters. That is beautiful. That is Sunlit. The next shade right next to it here is Low Key. This one looks a little more yellow. Oh yeah, a really pale gold shine to that one. Isn't that beautiful? I like that a lot. I didn't think I would, but I do. That is low key. The next shade is Beach Club, a little more pink. I would say this one is the pearly one because it has that kind of opalescent type of vibe you see there. Ugh, it's so hard to tell these tones with all these freaking fake lights, you know what I mean? I wish I was in the sun. Cause this is it's a it's a bright glow but it's soft it doesn't have a lot of a lot of um gosh what is the word i'm trying to say do you know what i mean by how it's softer it's not highly like glitter reflected it's just like a nice soft glow it's very pretty and has a really nice opal tone uh that is beach club the last shade in that set is squad obviously more of a lavender whoa I can never pull off these lavender highlighters. I know some of you can, and I'm jelly. It just looks silly on me, but I love them, so it's like kind of unfair. But I could never glow this much. I have too much inner glow. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> that is lavender, though. Wow. So that is Squad. All right, now we're getting to the more colorful ones. This is called Shell Yeah. <laughs> See what I mean? Like bright, bright color. I'm gonna have to use these more of a blush. The very first shade is laying out right here. Kind of like a peachy. This one's gonna be nice, actually. I think this one isn't as scary as it looks in the pan. Yeah, it looks really nice, actually. Oh my god. See, and this is why we do live swatches, people, because looking at this, I would think, oh my god, I could never wear that. I'm never even going to try. However, this might be the one that I would most likely wear the most because it's so subtle. I don't love a real frosty highlight. I like something a little more like this. It just looks like wet skin. I love these types of colors. This is my favorite and I never would have known it. The gem is in this palette here, depending on what you like, of course, but this is the gem for me. That is laying out. The next shade is with salt. This one, it's going to look weird on me. I'm going to apply it more as like a blush. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. At least they blend out nicely, right? It's not as alarming as I thought it was going to be. I actually quite like it. Oh, bless you, live watching videos. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, there are so many things I would have missed out on had I not tried them in a live watching video. I would have completely passed on and not been interested in. But that blended out so beautifully. It gives a subtle glow, a subtle pink to the cheeks, almost like a little bit of a sunburn vibe. Absolutely gorgeous. That is with salt. The next shade is round two, which is again, this one's more vibrant than the last purple, I think. Anyway, we're going to see. Yeah, this one's like, hello. This is one of those icy highlighters I tend to avoid. But some of you who are cooler than me might really enjoy them or maybe like festival vibes for the summer. It's not as crazy when you get it on, but it's still a little too purple for my taste. Yeah, that is the shade round two. I am so upset because the last shade, I was just putting it on and I thought I was recording and I was not, so forgive me. This is Goat. And what I was saying is this one terrified me. I got it on and it's 
perfectly fine and I actually really love it. I'm going to reapply it now. It is such a glowy pink. I know that kind of looks insane. It's because I'm kind of doubling up now. I wish I would have just applied it once, but I goofed up. But I think it is the cutest pink. I know my foundation's kind of rubbing off from all the swatches, so just imagine it without my foundation looking weird. It is a beautiful glowy pink blush, for me anyway. For you, it might still be a highlighter depending on your skin tone. But I freaking love it, you guys. Hello, everyone. I am back. Obviously, it is a new day. I got in a fight with a family member who was pissed off about some things I've been posting on Facebook, and I'm embarrassing their friends and family. So delete me. I literally don't care. But it was a little hard to get back into the mood after fighting about why my body is more important than a gun. Um, so anyway, we're picking it back up today. Technically, it's a highlighter, but I'm going to use it as a blush. I am paranoid I did not get a good shot of this one. So, we're going to pop it on right now. And she's glorious. She's beautiful. Isn't it so pretty? I can't believe I'm obsessed with this palette. I can't believe I like it more than the other palette. It is so pretty. It looks intimidating, but it's really not, you guys. It is such a nice little palette. And this is the cutest little summer cheek. Hello, oh my gosh, I'm adorable, love it, okay, love it. We're getting into the eyes now. What do you mean you're not celebrating the 4th of July? Does that mean you're protesting your family? Do we protest our family? Yeah, fucking sometimes we do. Anyway, none of that, none of that in this video. Today is to get you out of that, and so let me shut up, I'm sorry, I can't help myself sometimes. You know me, I'm a blabbermouth, I can't shut the hell up. I don't know what's good for me, okay. Let's start with the fun one. I mean, they're both really fun, but let's start with this kind of a bright, bright blues and aquas and things like that. Did you guys see the tutorial I posted on my Instagram and on my TikTok? I told you I hate these aqua teal shades and one of you left me a comment in my previous live swatching video. Oh, of this palette. I said they're beautiful, but I am so intimidated by these types of colors here. I can never wear them. And so I wore it in a tutorial and a lot of you loved the look. It was very 2010s, but it was still fun. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. This is the Shell Shocked palette. It's super cute. The very first shade is It's Okay right here. Oh, this feels like it's gonna be much better with a finger because it's really, really soft. The brush didn't pick it up super well. Is this like a super shocky? Oh, I think it is. I don't know, but it's so soft that like, I would almost consider it like a top coat versus like an eyeshadow. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's like, it's like little gorgeous fairy dust for your eye basically. <laughs> and I do think it's a super shocky formula. It just gives a really pretty blue kind of, like I said, Fairy dusting to the eye. It's really cute. What do you guys think? I love it. I think it's so fun. That again is It's Okay. Next up we have the shade Got a Tan. Pretty Lavender. It is a sequin formula. Oh, cute. It's like, it definitely kind of is more of like a very pastel bubblegum pink than it is a lavender. My eyes deceived me. Nice and matte, not chalky or anything. Gives good pigment. I will not repeat my qualms with the sequin formula though. I know you've heard it a thousand times. There's nothing wrong with it. It just, meh. I'm sick of them. That's just me personally. If I wanted loose glitter, I'd just take some loose glitter and pat it on my eye. That's how I feel. I wish it was just a plain matte shadow. And then we will take some of the sparkle and press it in. That's the best way to work with a sequin formula. Really pretty color though. Really pretty color. I hate how chalky it looks on camera because it really isn't. It's actually very, very vibrant. It's a beautiful color. That is Got a Tan, knee deep, right here. This is like a super shock shadow and it is electric pink. Beautiful stuff here, oh my goodness. It's just a pink glowy haze. Makes me think about being like at a really cute like roller haul. A little like skating rink with like neon lights and stuff and there's like a pink hue that's that's how it feels it's like sexy meow love it that is very very cute that is the shade knee deep next up we have the shade beach season holla <laughs> please forgive me i did not just mean to say holla i've been watching real housewives of new york <laughs> and heather <laughs> scott holla 
She says holla every like five minutes. It's the worst. And so now it's like creeping into my subconscious and I'm becoming the holla girl and it sounds so terrible coming out of my mouth. And so I apologize. I really do. I really do. Heather was such an oddball. Oh, it's beautiful. This one's so cool because it kind of has more of like a green in it. I thought it was just going to be like meh, teal. But the green in it is popping so beautifully. I love it. It's pigmented. It's gorgeous. There it is with a dry brush, people. Ooh, and she is hot, hot, hot. Feeling hot, hot, hot. <laughs> Michael Scott. <laughs> Feeling hot, hot, hot. <laughs> Do you guys read spicy books? Can I ask that or is that in a prope? Okay, I'm wetting the brush. Uh, you know what? No, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait for your answer. I'm not gonna confess to whether or not. Look up, this whole video is a self-report. I am not telling you whether or not I read spicy books. I'm gonna wait and see your comments before I out myself. Because when I asked on Twitter, and I said, where are my spicy book girls at? I think it only got like five likes. And then I was like, I was so embarrassed. I was like, oh my God. I'm sorry. That was not that. I was hacked. I was hacked, people. It wasn't me. I have never, ever, nor would I ever read spicy books. Okay? I'm a good girl. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I totally read the shit out of spicy books. And I'm currently reading Hooked, and I don't like it so far. There's like a fine line for me between like, oh, he's a sexy asshole, this is just a book, and then straight up misogyny, and I don't like it. <laughs> um, but anyway, let me know if you read spicy books or if you've read Hooked by, I believe it's by Emma, Emma McIntyre, Emily McIntyre. Uh, trigger warnings for that entire book. If you have any trigger warnings at all, you're probably not going to like it. Um, yeah, so that is a beautiful shade. What the hell am I going on about? That is beach season. Yeah, beach season. The next shade is Golden Era. It's one of those fun kind of tie-dye shades. Looks super mermaidy. It's got a little teal, a little aqua, a little purple, icy vibes. Ooh, but so pretty. I'm like a disco mermaid. I love it. I'm glad we started with this palette. This palette is so fun. I'm loving this palette, people. I gotta tell you guys, I've been proud of ColourPop lately. I feel like they've been having more fun with the makeup. I feel like, I feel like ColourPop hit a lull for a minute. I like their stuff. I like their little collections, but it's been a while since things are really exciting me. In this uh, little collection, plus the In the Springs palette, it got me excited again. I'm excited to see ColourPop getting a little bolder again. I hope it's like a nice little pre-show for what's to come for ColourPop this year because they were losing their edge a little bit and I'm glad they're picking it up. So that is Golden Era. The next shade is Doing Great. Oh, how pretty. Yeah, total mermaid vibes in this palette. Look at that. I love how, I don't want to call it dark or deep, but... I'm glad it's not too pale, you know what I mean? Because if it was, it would kind of look the same as everything else on this palette. But there's a beautiful kind of purple to it with a bit of an aqua flip. See that? See that beautiful definition there? Oh, it's a beautiful color. I like it a lot. Okay, now we have to wet the brush. Wet the brush and see how beautiful this is. And that makes it nice and smooth, a little chromey. Oh my gosh. This is a magical color. I am like, ha ah. I am being transported to another dimension where my whole life is this color. This is so, it's almost like gloomy happy. Do you know what I mean? It's gloomy and gorgeous, but not even gloomy. It's just like, ah. what am I trying to say? It looks like a sad color to me and it makes me really happy. Does that sound weird? I mean, look at, I love how that shadow makes it like so beautifully purple there. Or like an indigo. It's fantastic. It really is. That is doing great. And we are doing great. <laughs> no, we're not. No, we're not at all. The next shade is comment if it's a matte. Lovely little matte formula. A very beigey brown. Fits the tone and the mood and the vibe of the palette really, really well. And it's, yeah, this is a beautiful soft color. I would wear this as like a day-to-day eyeshadow myself. I love this type of color. That is comment if. Next we have Pacific Standard. It is a sequin formula again. Ooh, beautiful color though. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. 
This reminds me of the, I want to say it was the Nicki Minaj MAC collection. Didn't she have a bright aqua eyeshadow like this? Or was it a straight up lipstick? No, I think it was an eyeshadow. If I'm thinking of the right thing. It's so beautiful though. It really is. It's very vibrant, very opaque, and a nice amount of shimmer. It's not a, an amount that I'm disappointed in. I'm gonna take a little on my finger as we do with the sequin formula and press, press, press to get it to pop. If you love a bright blue, this is pretty nice. That is Pacific Standard. And the very last shade in the palette is Cocktail Hour. It is this dark, more of a khaki brown there, or like a pale, pale cool tone brown. Completely matte. Oh yeah, pretty neutral. I would say neutral. And that is it for the first palette, shell-shocked. Let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna go eat a little snacky snack and then I'll be right back and we will get into the second palette. So see you in a secky. All right, it's getting into the last palette here. Do you think like my face looks thinner? I've been trying to like get healthy or like whatever. Bitch, it's fucking hard. We have a lot going on right now. Like, sorry. I might be a little chubs for a few years. I'm going through shit emotionally. Fuck off. That's me talking to myself, by the way, when I beat myself up. But I feel like I'm like looking better. I don't fucking know. Who cares? Who cares? I'm married. Like it's over, you know? Anyway, first shade is I see you. And I believe, yeah, another super shocky. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Wow, it's like yellowy goldy. My eyes are red because I was just crying again. <laughs> It's so fun to be a woman at this point in time. It's so fun to have a uterus at this point in time. We're totally safe and everything is fine. I'm gonna cry again, okay? It's probably hard to tell on camera, but it's another one of those like fairy dust, pixie dusty looking shadows, and it's quite gorgeous. So that is the shade I see you. The next shade is washed up right here. It's a sequin formula. Adding on the sequin glitter here for you. It could very easily get very chalky. That's all I'm gonna say. It's a beautiful color, but you're gonna have to watch it. And I would use, a, I didn't have a good enough base down. I would use a thick creamy base to really get this color to pop and to keep it from getting too chalky. Um, that is washed up. The next shade, Sexy Back, is a Super Shock formula. Right here, Sexy Back. This one looks cool. It's kind of gold, kind of pink, frosty. Looks terrible on the camera, but it looks much better in person. It's almost a little fiery in person. I really like it. Sometimes, like, I just, I wish I could figure out how to get, like, authentic, like, there's just, I want it to, does that, it doesn't matter how many expensive lights I buy, less lighting, more lighting, better lenses. I can't crack the code on how to get my swatches to look exactly like how they look when I'm doing them. And trust me, you guys, I try and I've spent endless amounts of money on upgrading my shit and then it all looks the same. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I stay up late, 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 late at night in general, <laughs> not because of this, but I'm just saying, I spend a lot of time trying to figure out the best settings, best lighting, best lenses, best everything, and I get it all and I do it all, and ultimately, like, it's never better, I feel like. So just like, ugh, so frustrating, right? Please know I'm always trying to make everything better, though. I really am. Uh, that is sexy back. It's, it's pretty, but it's hard to tell on camera. It's pretty, though. Go to my TikTok or my Instagram to see the swatches I took outside. That's really the best way. Uh, if you're not quite getting the vibe from this video, please head to my Instagram, watch my reel of the swatches of this collection because it really pops there. It's really fire there. The next shade is Served and this is a shimmer, yummy little creamsicle number. I'm really excited for the shadow after this. That one looks gorgeous. This is just with a dry brush. It's cute. Nothing to write home about, but it's cute. Let's wet the brush now. I gotta tell you, my heart is with this baby here, the Shell Shocked. That's what I'm vibing with. Even though these are, these are like my colors. Like this is like me, but maybe it's like so me all the time that I see it and I'm like, meh. But then I see this and I'm like, okay, it's you, I pick you. 
choose me, love me. That's what the palette said to me. And I said, okay, bitch, you got it. It's you. That is the shade served. It's, oh, it's kind of like my little sweater here. Can we talk about how Calvin Klein is like basically just like Marshall's merch at this point? I got this at Marshall's, obviously, because it's the only place anyone buys fucking Calvin Klein is when you go to Marshall's. Let's be honest. Anytime I see anyone in Calvin Klein, I'm like, you love to save big on brand names. <laughs> I know that about you from a mile away. And so do I, bitch. I'm not judging. I'm just saying. Calvin Klein should never have, like, sold their entire line to Marshalls, basically, or exclusively through Marshalls, because I've lost, I've lost a little respect. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I dig it. It's comfortable and shit, and I guess I like it, but if I see Calvin Klein, all I'm looking at is another Marshalls bitch, so. And I mean bitch as a compliment. I'm, like, Marshalls bitches. Like, what's up? We love to save big on brand names, okay? Anyway, what am I doing? I'm delirious. This next shade, the middle one, is another tie-dye one. You can see how it's kind of brown in one corner. It's like white and creamy in the middle, and then it's orangey on the other little corner there. This is Check Yourself. I'm trying to get like every color. Very fun. Very, ooh, look at that, very pretty. I love it. I wish they sold this one in a single because I would pick this one up in a heartbeat and I probably wouldn't need the rest of the palette but I definitely want this shadow. That's where ColourPop gets you every dang time in these palettes. There's usually at least one shadow that I definitely feel like I can't live without. But friendly reminder, this is only makeup and you absolutely can live without it. You absolutely do not need it. But if you're looking to treat yourself and you like being excessive, <laughs> then I would buy this palette simply for the one shadow. Cause I think that is beautiful. Love, love, love. That is Check Yourself. This one looks kind of interesting. This is Exist. And it's kind of a pink, but it looks like it has a green flip to it. I don't know. Oh my God, I was just watching How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. It's obvi obviously one of my favorite movies of all time. I mean, hello. <laughs> Oscar worthy. I don't know who doesn't love that movie. But when she's like, I can't say too much because it's inappropriate. But she goes like, little big, little big. I don't know. We will see. <laughs> That's what, I don't know. I, rem I reminded myself of that for some reason. I don't know why. I forget already. Yeah, it's kind of got everywhere. It's really pretty. Don't get me wrong. It's really pretty but it's definitely powdery, but it's definitely powdery. Let's wet the brush, see if that sp spices it up a bit. <laughs> oh yeah, I love that. It gives a really shell-like opalescence to it. It's, it's like a green flip. Again, my camera's being an ass and you can barely tell, but I bet on my arm swatches that you can tell on Instagram, it is so beautiful. I love this. I love this so much. Okay, two redeeming shadows then so far for this palette. That is Exist. The next shade is Made You Smile. This is a matte. You know what's crazy? Like because of TikTok, I feel like the amount of people who probably have the same like little snippet, like 90 seconds of a song stuck in their head at the same time. Like if I asked you right now, what song was stuck in your head? I would almost bet a lot of you would say, in a minute, I'm gonna eat, nah, 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 nah. a lot of people would say the Lizzo song, right? I'm gonna need two shots in my cup, like, hello. <laughs> and I feel like never before in history have we all had like a rotation of the same five songs stuck in our head at a time. Or that, or the running uphill song, like, do we not all have that song stuck in our head, one of them? It's just kind of crazy sauce, you know? Pretty nice, um, kind of like a peachy brown, actually. There's a little bit of sherbet to it, which makes it interesting. That is Made You Smile. The next shade is Swim In, right here. Looks a little like rosy copper, do you know what I mean? It is a sequin formula, however, I like that this, it, this is kind of like a cherry color, and the sparkle in it is like fiery orangey goldy. So I kind of like that. It's giving Hunger Game vibes. It's giving Girl on Fire, which I think we all kind of feel like right now. Eh, but it's actually also a little lackluster. I'm not gonna lie to you. I wish there was a little more punch to it. A little, but it's, it, you know what? No, I take that back because we don't see this color often. This is a unique shade. The ones that we do see normally do have a bit more punch to it. So I take it back. This is unique and that's just fine. That is Swim In. And the very last shade, I'm just gonna do it on this eye. Save myself the trouble. Um, Miss Da Beach right here. This is just, we've seen this brown a hundred thousand times. It complements the palette well, so I understand the purpose of putting it in there, of course. I don't disagree with that, but it will not be real spectacular. It's just a nice, 
Nice dark brown. Nothing wrong with that. Pretty standard stuff. Pretty standard stuff. Good enough. A nice little brown there. You guys, what did you think of this collection? I don't think it's any secret which palette is my favorite. And I'm going to add to that note, this has actually been a shocking, shocking live swatch video for me because my favorites are the ones that I would never grab for myself. And the two palettes that I would most likely reach for myself if I was just shopping would be these two, okay? And my standouts are these two. And ones that I will willingly wear more. It's not just because like, wow, those shades are so interesting. It's because they excited me and I want to wear them on my freaking face. So I'm impressed with myself. I'm surprised by myself, which never happens. I know myself very, very well. And I choose these. These are my two favorite, which kind of blows my mind. So, hey, I'm sorry. Am I smelling growth? Am I smelling I'm evolving as a person? Okay. Did I just hear myself upgrade? Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Something to think about. <laughs> I don't know why I'm being aggressive with you guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm going to go to bed now. Let me know what you think of this collection. I love you guys so much. I hope you're doing okay. Sorry, everything fucking sucks. I'm about to stardew my fucking brain out because I reached perfection on the last farm that I was working on. So guess who just started a new one? Guess who just started a new one? I'm doing the beach farm right now because I never finished the beach farm, okay? I give up because you can't use sprinklers. You can't use sprinklers on the beach. You have to use it on that little patch of dirt they give you and it's not very much, but I'm playing smart this time. So a bitch has to go and water her crops. I love you. I will see you later. Bye.